maayong uto you ganda okay guys for today's episode meron tayong napaka special na topic so please stay with us as we know more about africa and uganda special here today our very special friend you guys Miss Sarah of Uganda. Hi everyone. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Maybe we we'll let Miss Sarah introduce herself first so we will know more about her. Yeah, I am Sarah Vampawir, Ugandan. Yeah, a fashionista. I love fashion and it is my passion. I don't just do it for money, mm -hmm. it is my passion. So ngayon guys, andito tayo with Miss Sara para malaman natin yung mga bagay-bagay at facts about sa African fabric o yung tinatawag nilang kitenge. Ayan, nakikita nyo guys, etong nasa harapan natin ngayon, ang tawag dito ay kitenge. So simulan natin yung mga tanong natin with Miss Sara. Alright Miss Sara, can you tell us uh, anything about African fabric just to give us that idea and summary of what it is all about? Well, this um it's originally called Chitenji. Chitenji mm -hmm. is an um, it's a Swahili word. Swahili mm -hmm. is a, a language in Africa, in East Africa, particularly spoken in Kenya and Tanzania. So the word Chitenji originates from that. And um the it was um there were fabrics in, imported by African soldiers from Indonesia and used here so it was adopted and that's why it is called african fabric because i think they liked it would you say that this african fabric like this these designs and these colors is specifically used in the continent of africa like this design i will not see it in another country let's say asia i would say yes mm -hmm. um the reason it's called African fabric is because it is particularly mm. made for Africa. Mm. Like the designs mm. are extracted from African yeah, things. Yes. Look at that. So, and even the, the color. Flowers, uh, the animals, bits yes. of, Yeah. And even the colors are vibrant, as you can see with this one that Miss Sarah is working on right uh, now. Miss Sarah, we want to know this fabric, African fabric, or the one, uh, the one you called Kitenge or Chitenge, when you buy them from the market here in Kampala, the capital city of Uganda, where are they manufactured exactly? They are manufactured in so many different places. Mm. Some are from Ghana, mm. some are from Tanzania, which is an East African country, mm. and then some are from China, mm. several places, even Indonesia. Uh -huh. so we Even in UK, I was uh, watching something of African fabric. It has become popular because it nice mm. it's comfortable it feels so good on the skin yes exactly. so many people so many fashionistas have adopted it mm. and it has nice prints yes very nice print by yeah. the way you will you will really turn your head guys if you see them uh, miss sarah has a lot of samples as you can see we will show this once with you guys right now Ayan, kita nyo ito guys, ang mga sample. Ayan, meron tayo ditong pula. Kita nyo naman. If you have a fair skin color, this would be perfect for you. Oh, this one is nice. I like the orange. Okay. This one guys, ito gustong gusto ko. At ito sigurado talaga magpapagawa ako nito ng damit. Ang ganda nito guys, oh. Hmm. Bagay pati ito sa balat ko. Kita nyo naman, may orange at may brown. Bagay din sa buhok ko. Meron din siya. We want to know, Miss Sarah, because for us, our people in Asia, we rarely travel to Africa because of the distance. But we see a lot of African fabric fashion in YouTube, in the TV, even famous performers like Beyonce, they are wearing African fabric. Now, for you as a seamstress, a very experienced seamstress in Uganda, how do you choose a good kitenge? When you go to, to the market to buy the fabric, how do you know when it's good? Okay, um, good is um, is really dependent on what you want. Mm. For some people, it is patterns. Mm. For some people, it is flowers. Mm. For some people, it is the fabric itself. Then because, they touch like that. Yes, now that uh, it has become so 
common mm. it is made out of so many fabrics mm. it is uh, sometimes uh, blended with nylon polyester polyester mm. and some people most people mm. love the cotton feel so when i'm picking fabric for my clients mm -hmm. i mostly love to have it with cotton 100 percent, 100 percent cotton yeah. because then mm. it feels good on the skin mm. On, yeah and mm. it doesn't fade when you wash it doesn't lose its color mm. yeah so it stays for so long i would love to have a 100 percent cotton kitenge you guys magpapagawa tayo susuotin natin dyan sa pasko sa pilipinas Ayan. okay miss sarah now we know that this african fabric even though it's your traditional fabric here in the continent of africa and a lot of people love them until today we want to know what is the most requested finished product of Kitenge. Right now, I can see you're wearing an apron. Hmm? Then you're making a dress and your house is filled with pillowcases uh, using Kitenge. So in Uganda, what is the in-demand finished product? The in-demand finished product in Uganda as regards to Kitenge is... Uh, clothes clothes yes how about those bags i see a lot of bags too we we are just uh trying to diversify mm. but originally it was clothes mm. but now we found out that we can do a lot with it so we make mm. bags we make a prawn like yes one. pillowcases we make cushion covers yes we make a lot of kitchenware oh yeah the, the mittens the mittens uh. Uh, I, I the even, lifting pads. Yeah, I even saw one for the hair, hair ties. Those yeah, hair we, ties. Yeah, we make ribbons. Mm. We make a lot with kitengi. Mm. Yeah, we and really there are some hotels that I've been to where they use decoration in the bedroom using chitenge, even, even a robe. Even table mats, mm. even Bed. napkins. Yes. We do a lot with kitengi. Even in decoration now, uh. it has been adopted. Yes. We use a lot of kitengi. It's if amazing. Someone, if someone's theme is mm. African, mm. they use a lot of Kitengi because mm. it comes in so many colors, mm. nice patterns. Mm. Yeah, so there is a lot to choose from nice, depending nice. on what you want. I have a lot of viewers and followers um, all over the world. We have people in Germany and Filipinos are everywhere. Thank you guys for watching once again and supporting our YouTube channel and Facebook page here in Africa uganda so the best question for us if someone is very interested to buy chitenge or the african fabric like this roughly what is the price in U u.s dollars if they want to get some for themselves yeah the the, um, the prices really var vary from um quality and and the quantity that you want but um they would range from like twenty dollars to forty dollars, really depending. Yes, it depends. Yes. So um I think the minimum measurement for a chitenge is a six yard. Is yes. it? Yes. Like this one here on my hand. Six yards, six which yards. Is, um, about five and a half meters uh, if you use meters. Yes, and for a small girl, small girl, <laughs> for a small girl like us, four eleven in height and fifty kilograms. <laughs> How many dress do you think we can make from six yards? Oh, well, that also really depends because you mm. might be small, but you want a long dress. A long dress. Uh huh. So that would now. Uh, if a long six, dress, six yards would make just one dress mm. and a simple skirt. And one bikini. <laughs> <laughs> and one simple skirt. And one simple skirt, but that's yeah, not just bad. A straight skirt. Yes. Because yeah. this this quality, guys, is very good. I can feel it in my hands, and wow! It's very nice yes, cotton. and it's if you are nice if you are going somewhere on an event outside of Uganda, just know, guys, you are going to be a head turner. Look at this. Even in Uganda. Even Uganda. Even in Uganda. A very good chitenge makes people turn their heads. What makes a difference? A very big one is how you how you decide to make it. Yes. Yeah. If you such a good seamstress yes. like myself. Mm. Yeah, you got something very nice. Oh, we are excited because we are making one, guys. We are attending a wedding and we need this one. I want to show you one work of Miss Sarah and I'm going to promote it, guys, in the event coming up soon. Yeah. Now, Miss Sarah, once we have our kitenge, 
I want to know if it's like cotton 100% or polyester plus cotton. Does the material fade? Does the color get washed out? And also, do they shrink after washing, like a couple of washes? Yeah, we have concentrated a lot uh, on um, the, the, the cotton, the cotton kitengi, because that is what I, I use majorly. But there are those that have wax in them. Those ones fade after some time. That is why I don't mm. use them a lot. Mm. But for the cotton chitengi, it doesn't really fade. It doesn't even lose color when you wash it, even for the first time. Mm. Like the so, ones I wore today. Yeah, they don't fade at that's, all. That's amazing. I have had some for a very long time. Mm. Like one of them, uh, I made it in 2017. Mm. Uh, another one that was one arm mm. i made that in uh, september wow. 2018 oh and that was still looking nice yes and i wear them and i wash them yes that's still amazing it looks brand new even no i made it in 2018 you see guys 2018 that is four years of having this same dress pero parang brand new pa din ganun kaganda yung material nitong ating titenge from miss sarah if you want quality, you guys, and you really want to own one kitenge dress in your life or a couple, you guys can buy from Misara and you will be sure that it is authentic. Mm. The one that That's, is blended with yes. uh, pink. With the green. president's wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one was made in, um, in May 2017. No so way. Had, yes. Wow. I have had it That's that amazing. Long, and it has not faded and I wear it. That's amazing. Last question, Miss Sarah. Now you have mentioned that Chitenge is actually manufactured from a lot of places, even outside Africa, African mm. continent. But why do you keep on calling it African fabric? If it's not made in Africa, why is it still very well known as African fabric? Because, like mm. I mentioned earlier, mm. its origins are here in Africa. So no matter mm. where it goes, it mm. will still be African fabric. Mm. Yeah. Take for instance, if I left here and I went to the Philippines, mm. I wouldn't become Philippine. Yes. No. That's very true. I would still be Ugandan in the mm. Philippines. Yes. So that's the case with the so, Chitenge. Yeah. So most of the characteristics of Chitenge is actually influenced by the people of Africa. Yes. yes? Even when you look at the other patterns mm -hmm. the one i am wearing in yes. this show us something there this looks like a caterpillar of sorts mm. but you know when you're artistic yes you can twist something yes. to look like it's not a caterpillar uh-huh but you see yes I know, and I've seen some of them. They have flowers, they have animals. Mm -hmm. I remember you guys have animals. And more prints. And what I know about African fabric, when I see bright prints like that, just know I will think of it as African fabric already. Okay, they see, just have a certain character that shows Africa, you this know? This is a flower. Nice. Mm. Which yeah, is. So, so most of the patterns mm. are African. Yes. Ito guys, gawa din niya ni Misara. O di ba? Perfect. They have tried to maintain that in it. Yes. So that is why it is still called African fabric. Mm. Wherever you catch it. Okay. That's All right, nice. guys. Ang ganda ng episode natin ngayon. Ang dami nating natutunan. Ang dami kong natutunan about African fabric or kitenge. Ayan, wag po natin kalimutan ang pangalan niyan. Dahil gawang Africa yan, guys. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa amin ni Miss Sara ngayong araw. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at may natutunan po kayo na kung nasan man kayo sa mundo at gusto nyong magkaroon ng, ng fashion statement out of African fabric, please do not hesitate to send us a message down below this YouTube comment box, you guys. Nandyan din po yung number ko sa description. You can message me also in our Facebook page. Ayun, Tindera sa Africa 2.0. Kung meron kayong mga order, gagawin niya ni Miss Sarah, guys. Very authentic. You are sure of the quality. The fabric is 100% cotton. The, the workmanship is very uh, good. It's excellent. And of course, the price is affordable. Of course, guys, kayo na magbayad ng shipping. Kung nasan man kayo sa mundo, Germany, Canada, USA, 
we are going to send that to you in your favorite courier. Ayan. Ayan. Don't forget po, bago kayo umalis or bago nyo tapusin tong video, huwag nyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe, like this video, and of course, press that bell button out there, you guys, para lagi kayong ma-alert sa ating mga susunod pang episode. Mag-goodbye na kami sa inyo ni Miss Sarah. At maraming salamat again. Nag-enjoy kami sa episode na to. We enjoyed this episode ni Sarah and we learned a lot. And we loved watching all your works. They are very, very beautiful. I'm going to make some dress, one or two dresses, maybe more as the years come, as the year comes. And then we will promote them in our country, Philippines. Ayun sa Asia. I love you all. Bye-bye. How do we say bye-bye and thank you in Luganda, Miss Sarah? Um... Mueva leño. Mueva va. Bagalaño. Eh. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.